Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to factorize a basic quadratic equation. And uh, the quadratic equation we have is x squared plus 4x minus 21. We're not going to use anything like the quadratic formula or any other formula formulas to factorize this because um, uh, it's important to start off with basics and understand how the method of uh, factorizing works. We're going to use more of a guess and check method to factorize this because for simpler uh, quadratic equations uh, this is a quicker method to get the answer. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to um, take note of this uh, uh, end uh, number here, this 21. So I'll highlight that in a different colour. And the coefficient in front of the second x. Okay. Basically, uh, the coefficient uh, in front of the x squared is also important, but in this case it's um, the number 1. And when it's the number 1, uh, it won't have any consequence in this method, but uh, I'll do another example where the coefficient in front of the x squared is not equal to 1. But for now, well, the only numbers that we have to worry about is the number 4 and the negative 21. What we actually have to do is find factors of negative 21 that will add up to the number 4. So um, let's do that. So we need to find factors of negative 21 that add to equal 4. So factors of negative 21 are 1 and negative 21, but these add to negative 20, so that's no good. The next set of factors will be 3 and negative 7. That adds to negative 4, so that's not particularly good. Uh, next set of factors, negative 3 and 7. And looks like we've got a uh, winner here. Negative 3 plus 7 is equal to 4. Great, so um, knowing that, we can rewrite the original equation as x squared plus actually minus 3x plus 7x minus 21. So see, satisfy yourself that x squared minus 3x plus 7x minus 21 is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 21. Okay, now we can factorize an x out of the front two terms. So we'll have x minus 3. And we can factorize a 7 out of the uh, remaining two terms. So we'll get 7 and in brackets we'll get x minus 3. Okay. Now, we have a common factor of x minus 3, so we can factor that out. So we'll end up with x plus 7, and in brackets, x minus 3. So that's how you would factor out, uh, that's how you would factorize the expression x squared plus 4 minus 21. And uh, keep a look out in future videos where I'll do a 
uh, a factorization where the, co where the coefficient in front of the x squared is not equal to 1. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope this has helped. If you have any problems with your math, please comment below and I'll get back to you in future videos. And I'll see you on the next video.